brand new life and life coming to an end today. Chickens are loaded and we're headed to the processor. Peace and joy guys. Welcome back to another video, Drumhiller Farms. We're taking chicks in for processing. Our neighbor Steve's here to give us a hand. Come along, hit that subscribe button, stick around for a while. One more back there? Just, yeah, that far side there. Yeah. He doesn't seem to want to. Come on, you can You want to go check on that side, Nathan? <laughs> Come. The end or something, we could lift up that side. <laughs> Big old dude. Plus 14. I would say let's not fill that one up unless we have to because it's just falling apart every time you pick it up. It doesn't stay locked in there.
Yeah, I was wondering if we should, but yeah, that's pretty much the way it is now. All right, we've got to get cattle moved this morning before we take off. And we've got a new little calf here. Aw, just born. Good job, Mama. Good job. It's like first steps here. You're a good mama. Yeah. And we'll leave them be. Good job, Mama. I saw her yesterday and was thinking she was going to be calving. Yeah, you're a good mama. I know, I see him. He's a dandy. Oh, oh she's a dandy. Alright. I'll leave them to it. Um, yesterday, setting up this paddock. I knew we'd be in a hurry and I didn't want to have to deal with moving their water and everything else. So I set it up to where we're just going to take this fence down and they'll still have access to this other paddock and their water. There's a lot of deer in this field. So I want to just make sure nobody's ran the fence down since it's something that they haven't seen in a while. Dude, I ain't trying to mess with your baby. It's alright, Mama. New Mama. We're not going to leave you behind. You can see, they, they know the drill. see baby's already up and it's sucking <clears throat> it's a wonderful thing life life on the farm well brand new life and life coming to an end today chickens are loaded and we're headed to the processor all right, it's about 6.30, and we wanted to be the processor by 7.30, so this should work really well. They're doing great in there. They're going to get good ventilation in here. Allison's got her truck hooked up to a trailer as well because we have four finished processed beef that she's picking up when I drop these chickens off. So, all kinds of stuff going on today. Man, I was just thinking about how nice it was that Steve came and helped us. Uh, literally cut our time in half, I believe. And he didn't even tell me he was going to do that. He just asked what time I was loading. And when I went to pull into the field, I seen that the gate was already open. And I kind of put two and two together. So, man, it's nice to have good neighbors. And it's even better when they're your best friend. Alrighty, well if you've been around the channel for any length of time, this place should look familiar to you. We are at Peas Packing. This is where we get all of our processing done. And like I said, dropping off chickens this morning and Allison is behind me by probably about a half hour. And she's picking up the beef that we have here. And she's got a bunch of customers meeting her. And she's going to be going to the city business 
to deliver the beef to meet customers and so she stayed back home and showered up so she's ready to go there there's all our chickens had to use a couple other of their crates the yellow ones but their one bad day is today but they will be good on customers dinner plate Allison's only about 10 minutes out here so I'm gonna just hang out wait for her help them load and uh, she can hit the road and I can hit the road and be on with our day. All right, Allison's loaded, going to meet the customers. I gotta get cleaned up and head to work.